Hi friends, I'm Jess and welcome to the Hex Library where I post reading, writing, book, and planner related content a couple of times a week. Today we're going to do my TBR takedown for the month of September. If you are new here, the TBR Takedown is a game I've been playing for the past few years trying to get my physical unread TBR shelf down from a very high number down to something more manageable. We did change up the rules in 2023 and so I have a goal number that I'm trying to hit every month. For the month of September we started out at 42 and we're trying to get our backlist TBR down to 38. I will be sliding over here and there will be a plethora of numbers for you over here where we have our backlist TBR numbers, our goal number, and also our current TBR number. Our current TBR is anything that I have picked up in 2023. I'm prioritizing trying to get the older books off of the shelf rather than the newer ones uh, because some of them have been around since 2017. Some months I do this in the order in which books came in or off of the shelves. This month it's just going to be all of the hauled books, all of the read books, and then all of the DNFs and unhauls um, simply because I wasn't keeping track during the month so I have no idea what came in or out when. Let's start with the easy one. I hauled five of the Creepover series books in the month of September. I hauled books 17, 18, 19, 20, and 22. These are the last five books of this series that I did not own and if you are not aware the Creepover series is a series that is different stories, different characters for every book. They all follow some sort of a creepy sleepover, hence creepover. And the five that I picked up this month were Your Worst Nightmare, The Ride of Your Life, The Terror Behind the Mask, Don't Move a Muscle, and It Spells Zombie. I also picked up the last two books of the Sarah Normal series. This series follows a girl named Sarah. She starts out in the series as 12. I do believe by the end of the series she is 14. And we're following her. She sees ghosts and it's just her learning about her powers, growing in her powers throughout the series. There are 11 books in the series. Uh, so here we have books 10 and 11. Book 10 is A Perfect Storm and book 11 is Yesterday and Today. I also picked up some of my friends books in paperback copies this month. I first picked up Revelry in the Dark by M.G. Ellison. Also Removable Echo by our friend Anne Sophie. Um, I already owned the ebook copy of this but I have not read it yet. Um, because as we all know, Jessica does not like ebooks, so I figured I would pick up the physical copy and see if I'm any better at reading that. So Revelry in the Dark follows our main character whose name is Georgie and she had a large case of anxiety after her father's passing, which I mean fair. Um, she leaves the university she's enrolled in, she goes to a new school, one where her brother had previously went. Um, it says, as a transfer student, Georgie attracts the attention of everyone at school, including the not, including the, in I can't say enigmatic, it's a struggle for me, uh, Professor Decker and his esteemed yet reclusive teaching assistants. It sounds like it is a um, dark academia style of book, so, you know, interested, obviously. And then Removable Echo follows our main character Mara, who lives in a society where they are very controlled by the government. This is kind of like a, this is definitely like a sci-fi where before people go into a new stage of their life they have to go and have their memories removed of basically like everyone that they've ever known and after Mara has this done she finds a note from someone who it seems like is like trying to spark her memory of things that happened before but she doesn't know if she actually knew this person before or not and so we're gonna find out along with her. There be the books we hauled. Now let's talk about the books that we read. As always, I will not be doing a wrap up of these. My full reviews will be in the wrap up video, which will have been posted prior to this. So you can go check that out if you would like to know what I thought about any of these books. Let's get through it. Exiles by Jane Harper. Haru, Zombie Dog Hero by Ellen O. Will You Be My Friend by PJ Knight. This is Creepover number 20. A Witch's Guide to Fake Dating a Demon by Sarah Hawley. Small Spaces by Catherine Arden. Meddling Kids by Edgar Cantero. The Full Croft Ghost by Darcy Coates, The Novice by Terry Mathrew, Stone Cold Heart by Kaz Freer, Station Eleven by Emily St. John Mandel, Playing with Fire by Phoebe Rivers, this is Sarah Normal Book Nine. These next two uh, I'm going to show you the physical copy of because I have since bought them but they were not hauled in this month and they don't count as coming off of anything so just pretend like you don't see them. I just don't want to put the picture thing in when I have a copy of them sitting on the shelf. Okay. The Odds by Lindsay Puckett and Yumi and the Nightmare Painter by Brandon Sanderson. You'll see me haul these in October's 
it's fine. I also DNF'd five books this month, the first of which is Halloween Party by Agatha Christie, Wild Seed by Octavia E. Butler, Bitter Orange Tree, I don't remember who that was by but it's right there, The Sound of Stars by Alicia Dow, this was the TBR jar pick for the month, and On the Savage Side by Tiffany McDaniel. All of the books that I DNF'd will also be talked about in last month's wrap up. So at this point we can see from our numbers if I math correctly and I rarely do. We started our backlist at 42 books for the month and we are ending our backlist at 38 for the month which was our goal which means we don't have to unhaul anything at this current moment in time. Our current TBR started at 62. I hauled a bunch of books but I also read a bunch of books that I bought last month so we actually ended at 63 which is fantastic. I read a lot of books in September that I had hauled in August. I was very surprised by that. I was very happy to get to a bunch of books that I had bought this year. I'm surprised I read as many books as I did in September considering how many I read in August. Um, I think I did pretty good. So all we have left is to pull from the TBR jar if I can find it. She has been found. Uh, I am trying to read 31 books in 31 days in October and I do already have a 40 book um, TBR planned. You know 40 books to choose from. So whatever I pull from here if I read it this month, fine. If not, I will give it um, to November as well. Well, technically I usually do this until the wrap up or the takedown is filmed, which I typically film the first week of November. So I may read it by then. But either way, if I don't read this one this month, it's okay. I can technically roll it over to next month. I'm allowing myself that because I'm trying to read 31 books in a month. Um, but I, you know, don't want to completely get rid of it. I mean, what if the book I pull is a spooky book, you know? I don't think I have any spooky books left from my backlist TBR, but it's fine. Or there might be one, I might try to read it and decide I don't like it, and then unhaul it, and then we'll have even less books. We ended up with... Is that what I'm on? Or the next one in the series? It is the one I want, but I don't know where it is. I pulled Title, which I am currently reading. Um, it's the one I was reading at the, it was the last book I was reading in September. And I set it down because I didn't want to read it in October. So I guess we'll just stick with this. I mean, I'm legitimately on page 28. But that's what we got. So that's what we're rolling with. So we have hauled some books. We've taken off the books that were read. We've got a book that we can we have to read for next month. I don't know how next month is going to go um, with our goal for the month because I have a 40 book TBR and I don't know that any of my backlist books are on that 40 book TBR. So we may be unhauling a lot of things at the end of October. And I'm not sure how I feel about that, but we're just gonna roll with it. Just gonna roll right into it and see what happens. I did decide there is a book series that has I think 10 or 11 books that I haven't read yet in the series that I own um, and I have decided that those are staying no matter what because I'm going to use them for a project for next year um, that I want to use for next October. Um, it was a plan for this October but I didn't get it started early enough so those are staying regardless. I mean, I at least have read the first book in the Novice series uh, by Tara Matthew, and I really enjoyed it, um, which if you watch last, if you watched the last video, which was my wrap up, you'll know that. Um, I did really enjoy that. So at least I know that I like those books considering I own all four of them and maybe I can read those. But again, not part of the 40 books of October. <sighs> Definitely need to plan that out better next year if I'm doing a goal every month. So, oh well wish me luck. If you made it this far in the video leave me a pumpkin emoji down below because obviously it's October and that is all I have for today and I will see you guys next time. Bye!